All right, hey everyone. If you didn't know by now, I'm a huge fan of Trainer Road. And what do you do when you're done with your base period, you're done with your build period, and you're done with your specialty period or specialty phase, and now you're racing, like me, what do you do? What do you do between now and the end of road season in you know September? What races fill in the gaps? I'm sorry, what, what training rides fill in the gaps between races? I want to show you uh, what I came up with for myself uh, between now, it's currently May 20th, 2016, and about, uh, let's see, uh, mid-August. So what I'm doing, what we're looking at right now is simply a Excel spreadsheet. The first thing I did was I filled in my races. What races are on my calendar? And what are they? Are they road races? Are they crits? Are they, is it a Grand Fondo? Um, is it an Omnium? Is it a time trial? So fill that in. As you can see here, my next race is coming up here in a couple days. I have a crit in Rochester, New York. The Genesee Valley Criterium, I think that's what it's called. Anyway, I also have another one here on June 5th. It's uh, the New York State Championship uh, crit. And then another quit here, Watkins Glen. And then I have an Omnium here in, looks like uh, early July. So first step, fill in your races. Fill in your races and then work back from those races. Now, for example, let's go to the New York State crit. Let's, let's skip this race on this Sunday for a minute and go to the race on June 5th. Uh, if you look at the rides that I, I plugged in, I basically went to the... Um, road race criterium high volume plan and just took different workouts from that plan and plugged them in if you look at uh, let's see the 26 here isolation that's off the high volume criterium plan buffalo black giant hawks bill west vedette shining rock bulls are all off of the excuse me off of the um, high volume crit plan now so that's that's kind of along the lines of crits. If you have a road race, and if you happen to know the terrain, if it's a, if it's a, um, a really hilly, go for the climbing road race. If it's moderately hilly, go for the rolling road race. Now, let me skip forward to, um, we're at about uh, mid-June here. We just got done with the Watkins Glen, and the one thing I will note, those of you who have done Trainer Road who are observant, I didn't add in any um, retests for retesting FTP, but I wrote them in on my copy that I have in front of me. So make sure to add in your retests about every four to six weeks. Anyway, mid to late June, Watkins Glen, which is a criterium, kind of a circuit race, is over. And the next race I have in my calendar is a Syracuse Omnium. Now, I didn't really look too hard at an Omnium at this one in particular, but you can probably be sure that there's a time trial, there's some sort of road race, and there's a criterium. So what rides do you do to get ready for that? Um, or rather, let me just skip forward to, let me forget about the Syracuse Omnium and let me work on um, the Buffalo Omnium from about uh, mid-July to um, early August. So I wrote these in on the right-hand side where we have, we start out with Lincoln, which is a crit from the crit high volume plan. And then the next ride we have is Solomon Solomon's, which is from the Rolling Road Race High Volume Plan. Um, take a rest day, and then we have the Climbing Road Race. We have uh, Gold Plus Two, um, going to a Dave Matthews concert uh, July 16th and 17th in Saratoga. So we're going to take those days off. Here's a good tip: we're going to I'm going to carry a lot of fatigue into. July 16th and 17th because I know I have those days off. I know I can rest. I know that my body can absorb the fatigue of July 12th, 13th, and 15th. Keep moving on. Uh, we have climbing road race, char charb dis, climbing road race. We have crit high volume, um, a couple rolling road races in there, climbing. So my point being is that if you know you have an omnium coming up, Take a few workouts from different plans and throw them in. Um, now, if you, I, I know my body well enough, so I know 
I know my body well enough and I've been doing trainer road for long enough so I know how much fatigue I can actually withstand and how many rest days I need. So about two um, 100 plus FT, um, I'm sorry, TSS rides in a row, I need a rest day or at least a really easy active recovery day. So that's up to you. I hope this video helped. Reach out if you have any questions. I'm not an expert on trainer road, but um, it's helped me out a lot. I feel great at this point in late May for the upcoming season. It's really doing wonders for me and my fitness. And also, if you're interested in trying out Trainer Road, reach out to me. I always have a few um, one month free trials floating around, and I'm more than happy to give them to you. Reach out. My email is in the description. And um, yeah, guys, Trainer Road, it's awesome. It'll make you a faster cyclist. I really, really love it. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks so much.